Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. We are, uh, well we just won a small war against uh, Bear Island. We were just uh, sorting out a kidnapper there and we're basically waiting for the Iron Throne to put itself back together again. Let's see how their wars are going. They have a war against Bravos, which uh, the Sea Lord is winning. They have a war against the Faith of the Seven Revolt, which uh, currently is zero war score for either side. We have a war against Archon Reynard of the Reach and the Reachman Iron uh, Throne du Jour War over Brightwater, which uh, looks like the Reach are winning. And in the Stormlander Iron Throne du Jour War over Felwood, which is 0% war score. Interesting. We're not in any of these wars though, because we haven't been invited, so... We kind of just said we provide men, but not much else. Dothraki are doing slaving again. What a surprise. Um, right. We can go into hiding. Yes, somebody is trying to kill us. We do have a couple of plots that we know about. I kind of like having the plot. I would say auto stop plots on, but I kind of like knowing about them, you know. And when we have a chance to actually write to stay in prison, someone we can. Ooh, Rick and Stark died in an accident. That now means that his niece is the uh, only Stark at, like, is the only per one of those alive. I think. The only part of her family alive. I think we're going to invite her to our court. Um, we can't invite her to our court. She must be an adult. We can invite her guardian to our court. Uh, no. Okay. Lord Master Gorzak the Malik has declared the second war to overthrow the monarchy of Yunkai on Lady Paramount Shireen the Benign. Which of course will call in the Iron Throne because the Iron Throne is married to her. Presumably. <gasps> Um, no. Okay. My liege, your wisdom, mercy, and legendary. I've discovered a plot where Lord Theodoric of Pineseed seeks to replace Lord Rob and become regent. Your humble spymaster, Alice Karstark. Okay. Interesting. Not quite uh, the impri imprisoning kind of thing we'd be going for there. I'm interested why them she the Iron Throne hasn't been called into this war. Maybe she just didn't call them? Hmm. Do you not get called automatically for defensive wars? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening with the Dothraki over here. That is a big horde they had going there until Cohort just broke free. Okay. Um, what are our decisions? Let's go into hiding. Yeah, go into hiding. Weak claims. Ambitions that we don't want to do any of. We have a Lathand lover owes us a favor. Morella Lannister died bedridden and infirm. She was uh, married to Darian Dane. Okay, interesting. I don't know why we got specifically a pop-up about her, but she died. Okay, King Parquello lost the war over Brightwater, which means the Reach is now back a little bit more secure than it was. As the Iron Throne doing in its other wars. Uh, sea Lords winning a little bit more. Um, and the Stormlanders are losing. Interesting. Raiders have arrived in uh, Lady Paramount Shireen's uh, lands. Okay. Corella bought a favor. And we have a fantastically nice looking prestige number. And it's gone. I don't feel too well. Something is wrong with me. I'm burning up with fever. My nose is running. My head feels as if someone is banging something hard against it. Please kill me. Gained ill. We're no longer an exceptional military ruler, apparently. I guess our marshal dropped too low. Uh, Val died a natural death. My lord, for some time now, I've been an employee of Lady Jutta by a secret station. I humbly request to join you at Winterfell. Uh, no. Uh, your wife, Lady Paramount Val, has died. Now it falls to you to decide whether to make the funeral big in special event or to keep it small and private. Hmm. We'll go for a big... Uh, we'll hold We'll hold a funeral. Yeah. Um, we can invite... Everybody. All lords and uh, ladies of the realm. Yeah, definitely. Don't invite everybody. The invitation has been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm to come to the funeral. It's time to prepare the feast in the funeral itself. Yes, we'll arrive soon. Time passes, yet the world seems unreal, as if life without Val is but a mummer's farce. I'm lost in the sea of loneliness and know not where to turn. Uh, wine, woman, and song? Probably not. Book, song, wisdom of the gods? No. Solace in the arms of another? Probably not. This is nonsense. I'll move on. I mean, I, I could see that with that being John's way of taking it. Uh, like, move on, try and stick with his job. You know. I mean, he, it, none of the others seem perfect, so I think we'll go with this one. Let's see what happens. 
Um, okay, so there's a 90%, 10% chance we become depressed. 90% chance we uh, lose a trait wo uh, widowed. Five per oh, we, we lose kind automatically. 5% chance we gain this trait stressed. 5% chance we gain celibate. 25% chance we become rough, proud, cynical, or cruel. Okay, let's do it. What happened to us? We lost kind and that's it. We were already proud. Yeah. Uh, the best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar, and duck, spices, wine, and ale, honey for the desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. Uh, we'll spend as much as we can. We have plenty of money. Uh, Lady Paramount Shireen won her war. Good. Good. And, uh, yeah, did we? We actually lost Widowed as well. I don't think we would get married again straight away, but. I don't think it's unrealistic. Maybe we'll wait two years or something, then we'll get married again. Right, it's just not unrealistic. All of the guests arrived at Winterfell. Now it's time to start feasting to celebrate the life of Val. Okay. Let's see how it goes. The department Shireen revoked the Lordship of uh, Khaldeen. Okay. Some of my guests did not seem satisfied with the food, but I would never have thought one of them would have complained out loud. Lord Walder said a lot of nasty stuff about the food, and I couldn't help but feel irritated. If you don't have something nice to say, shut up. Uh, yes. Uh, oh. Our half-brother Brandon died after a period of illness. He, um, his uh, son, Lord Roos IV of the Dreadfort, has taken over. Interesting. The person who we uh, educated. He is, of course, no longer our advisor. Um... Uh, was he in actual position or was he just an advisor? He was just an advisor. So we will actually put probably, um, oh, we could put either our son or our nephew in as our advisor now. I guess we would put in our son. That would make the most sense, probably. Yeah. There we go. Lady Paramount Shireen the Benign revoked the Lordship of Malik from Gosno Zoeris. Oh, yeah, the, you might also say that it might be bad to putting in our son because their son is an imbecile, but he is also our son, so it's more of like a position, he's not in any position of power, he's just in like an advisory role. It would seem wrong for him not to be, it's my logic. The funeral. Three days have gone past since Val passed away and the body was cleaned, prepared for burial, and wrapped in a shroud and laid at the base of the weirwood tree. Hearth and close kin of the dead arrived to mourn with each pla pe placing offerings for the dead around the body. As darkness draws in, the gathering party made their way to the God's Wood as the eldest kinsman, hooded and cloaked in heavy linen, proceeds forward and enters, carrying the runic weirwood staff. Everyone present sets their eyes downward, fearful of glimpsing the staff. The staff is put to the body is uh, put to the body to measure, then the kinsman whispers to the body before departing. As soon as the ritual is concluded, those closest to the dead gather up the body and gather, carry it to the grave where they offer their final farewells. Uh, okay, and so it is done. I was just checking whether that was maybe a wildling thing. It may still be a wildling thing, actually. Or whether this is uh, specifically an old god thing. Anyway, it is done. Now yeah, let's see what it says about her. Died natural death. She was a woman who was known to be most courageous and uh, as well as being fair to look upon. She was a competent swordswoman, but not but not a warrior songs are written of. Ah, there you go. We could go into hiding. We're not going to do that. Since I arrived in Winterfell, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops. Yeah, thank you, Lathen, but this isn't really the time. My lord, for some time now, I've been in the employ of Lord Harlock, but I seek a better station. I humbly request to join you in Winterfell so I may serve you. Uh, no. Because you want to be our master of arms. You know, if you didn't want to be your ma Okay, the game crashed. We lost a month. Nothing too bad. We might have to do the funeral again. Yep. We'll have to do the funeral again. Uh, Lady Shireen revoked some stuff. Uh, this time, Master Benford was not happy with the food instead. King Lancel the Handsome has revoked a castle. Okay. Um, Lady Paramount Shireen the Benign uh, revoked the Lordship or something. I don't recognize my friend Sansa anymore. The things we had in common when we first met and became friends has changed and vanished. However, I meet her ask myself, is this the person I want to be friends with? Can we really be friends despite all of our differences? Um. Yeah. Um... I think, what, what are we like right now? We're not really gregarious. We're not kind. I mean, we could ask her if we would still be friends. 
Yeah. Tell me, do you think we can still be friends? Miss Sansa. Instead of agreeing our friendship is doomed, Lady Sansa told me that as long as she lived, she would consider me a friend. All of our differences, the things we had uh, no longer had in common, Lady Sansa dismisses us. I've been growing up and it was time for us to find new things to talk about and strengthen our friendship with. So we're still friends, I guess. Cool. And there's the funeral, once again. Although this one's slightly different. Interesting. Cool. I wonder if that is like randomized slightly. Or whether maybe there was one funeral for Wildling, one funeral, like, and then there's one funeral that's kind of um, set up differently. Like, one funeral set up to be um, like old gods, and if it you've, if it's got a choice between them, it'll just randomize or something like that. I don't know. We have a new. We need to put in a new priest. Um, well, we're putting in Athen. He definitely seems the best of the two options. Cool. And we'll keep going. Uh, Lord Reaver Harrison Knight did something. Oh, there is Brandon is dead once again. Yeah. Um, now we will set the same stuff up as we just did. We'll set uh, Rob up as our advisor. Cool. Lady Paramount Shireen the Benign has formed an alliance with King Perquill of the Lazine. Interesting. They didn't have an alliance automatically. Oh, yes, because this is, um... Of course, this is Conclave. Which means that you have to set up non-aggression packs and things, and then you can form alliances like that. Okay, cool. Interesting. We'll keep going. I was wondering why that wasn't happening the way I thought it would, but it's because it's a new, con a new Conclave mechanic. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, people being released from dungeons. Nothing really exciting going on there. Dan Al's ransom somebody. Lord Meldred of Vol of uh, Volmark has declared War of Tyranny of uh, Tyranny of Iron King John the Warrior on Iron King John the Warrior. Right there we go. Volmark has zero men with them against the ninety-five. Oh wow, this is a war war of the ages, obviously. Zero versus ninety-five. You'd hope he'd at least have one man on the side. Well, himself. Well, whatever. We'll see how it goes. The Tully's won a siege. Cool. And uh, nothing really else to look at. We can look at the Iron Throne and see how they're doing in their wars. Uh, losing against Bravos. Uh, Faith of the Seven, still at zero. And the Stormlanders are losing. Cool. Right, so let things continue. Save up a little bit. Anything else we need to be doing? We can pick an ambition. Not nothing really to do there. My lord, for some time now, being an employee of Lord Lath and Second. Uh, yeah, we'll let you join our court, I think. Assuming nothing's truly wrong with you. Yeah, you can join our court. That's fine. No problems. You didn't want any, t any uh, like, position on the council or anything, so... Nothing to worry about at all there. People are inheriting stuff from priests. A daughter was born to Soren Then and Mage, named Meha. Raiders arrived. Uh, King Lancel the Handsome has created the High Lordship of Cornfield. Oh, that would explain why he was uh, revoking all that stuff earlier. Ladies Jen of Wycombe has, has got a new faction available. Um, what have we got here? Invite to plot from Santa Stark. I would like you to back her plot to replace Alice Carr Stark as my master. Uh, I'm going to decline, Sansa, and I hope that you won't mention that to me again. These, I hope this wasn't the new th uh, things to talk about you were talking about. Like, we have to find new things to talk about. Like, uh, you know, some plots and some intrigue stuff. No, no, that's, that's not what we're into. Uh, Waldo feels like I risk too much for my escapades and tries to persuade me to stop risking my life. But it's such a thrill. Uh, do we still have... We still don't have Widowed. Yeah, okay, I was checking whether that was the thing from last time or not. So, at the end of this year, I think we should probably get remarried. I think that makes sense. Righteously imprison Lady Sansa. I mean, we could just ask her to stop. That seems like a fair thing for us to do. She asked us to join, and instead we say, no, really, just don't don't start plotting. I don't want to have to do anything about that. Uh, King Lancel the Sixth of the Rock died of severe stress and has been replaced by King Geralt the Fourth Lannister. Okay, and his heir would be... Uh, Prince Gilbert. All right. Yeah, we can. The main Lannister line got completely wiped out. 
Dear half-brother, blessings upon you and your house. Your demand is just. My scheme was obviously misdirected. I hope you find it in you to forgive me. Of course, Sansa. We can do that. Right. Um, Geralt Lannister brought some favours from Pate and then called them in. That's his maester. Okay. Uh, your septum reports from Winter. Uh, your priest reports from Winterfell that his charity work on behalf is seeding well. The poor mean fan near past Danny has improved. Cool. Lord Torgan feels I risk, too, I risk too much of my escapades and tried to persuade me to stop risking my life, but it's such a thrill. Yes. Shirin uh, Baratheon bought a favour from Dennis Foxlove, and Lord Sigfrid the Cruel inherited the Lordship of Pike from Lady Alice of Pike. And she's calling in her favours. Dennis Foxlove is Master of Arms at Yunkai, so... That's interesting. Is he not her uh, heir or something ridiculous? No, it's actually Ralph right now. Just Ralph. Great. Lowborn Ralph. Stefan the Sweet managed to escape from my dungeons at age 61. Damnation. While searching for a lost chalice, I came upon a band of rogues who robbed me. There were too many. Oh no. Well... Uh, it is... Oh, chosen by Rylor. This is an interesting event I've not seen before. The two gods are locked in eternal struggle over the fate of the world. A struggle, according to the ancient prophecy from the books of Ashai, will only end when Azor Ahai, the Messenic figure, will return wielding a flaming sword called Lightbringer, the Red Sword of Heroes, and ra raise dragons of stone. The Red Priests say that I am Azor Ahai, reborn, worthy to wield Lightbringer and drive damnation... Drive darkness from the world. Wait, sorry, what? Um, you you mean her? Yes, Lady Paramount Shireen is uh, chosen by Rylor. Okay, I was very confused. I was reading that. And I was like, what? Uh, so she is now chosen by Rylor. Interesting. Uh, I am not bothered. Apparently, do I look like I'm bothered? Right. Uh, auto saving. And I think this is a good point to end the, oh, who wants to be imprisoned? Investigate someone's uh, legitimacy. Don't really care. Right, anyway. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.